Ooh, question mark. Why? You can't be dirty still. Just clenched you. Um, stay. So, how are you? Have a nice evening. Bonsoir, monsieur. Oh, bonsoir. Ah, uh, bonsoir. Mister, excuse me. Evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Where's the question? Is the game so dark? Oh, it's night. I wonder if this is poison ivy. <laughs> no, probably not. Are you like a. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. Boom. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Oh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Oh, yes, of course you are. You know, be careful with the China, sir. It is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's a little bit off off topic topic. Kinda want to do Yeah well. Mo mostly uh mostly quest that relates to the storyline. I know Mary's not one of them, but um, well, I like Mary, so why not see what that, that leads us? You know, Arthur deserves some happiness. And, um, for the blind. if Mary can give him that, then why not? Are you an idiot? Nope. I'm not gonna do anything in this city, man. If I piss a policeman off, he's just gonna shoot me. And then a million cops just spawns and shoot me. So, don't do anything stupid here. Arthur! Arthur! Oh. Eh. Up here! Hello, Mary! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> Take a picture. It lasts longer. What's a picture?
Maybe they do know what a picture is. Arthur! Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. <laughs> I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter <laughs> and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. <laughs> Please. Sorry. I am. I should have asked someone else, but. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah, well, I cannot help her. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. <laughs> He's been not really gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. You want to do it now? Run away with me? <laughs> so what do you that think? Hair actually looked pretty. Uh, sure. Her hair, not his hair, he but her hair. It's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing. He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. <sighs> Stupid man. He's, he's stopped in the middle of the road. It's not like I have fine control over this horse, you know? Now, what I, as I was saying, her hair actually hope her hair actually looks look looks look pretty um uh pretty pretty oh uh, pretty uh realistic. Damn it! I can't zoom. I put them away quickly before somebody sees and police start shooting. I think we. Arthur, please. You said you'd help. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm just looking at your hair, okay? Eh, it's hard to see now. I can't zoom in, the, in enough. Hurry. But... We might miss him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hurry up. Take it easy. I even brought a horse you could have rode. But no, no. You want to be close to me. Holding me tight. Oh. 
This is the place. Gonna get mud on your dress. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Yeah. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. He's he's sweeping the uh, the Stop mud. On there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. It's to me. Apology accepted. Oh, wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Well, he, in, in, he insisted. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. <laughs> the white horse is following us, but but Rick? No, no, no. He went around the corner. Yeah, so. Whoop! Whoa, she's fast. Oh. Hold on. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. <laughs> We're sneaking around with a big horse. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Actually, I thought I could take left down that alleyway. What's he doing? I don't know. Let's go find out. Actually, I thought about taking a shower at the hotel before I met you, but I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. We lost Twiny. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. 
Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Yeah, and if I kill somebody, whose fault is that? You want me to steal a horse? Oh no, I'm gonna get the uh, police on me. Can't even shoot. Can't even shoot the tires. Damn it. Lost Whitey. You stop right now. I know there's two horses pulling that carriage, but I would think... I would think a horse... Oh my god. Jump the bike in. Uh, do I have anything to give this horse? Oh, my own horse captured. Captured in. Kept, kept, what do they call that? Uh, he caught up to us. And that's what I'm looking for. Oh my god, just went red. Let's take our own horse. Leave that stupid horse. Come on, Rick. Yeehaw! And of course, I'm running around the whole country. What the heck? Are you kidding? <laughs> Is that jump into the carriage? No. It's not. Oh, crap. And of course, it's terrible weather. Oh, yeah, and his, his also, of course, is not getting. Whoop, one down. Oh. Drive the coach. Oh, okay, he has four horses. Okay, I did not know that. Yep. Oh my god. Well, I am doing it. Uh, no, actually, I don't know who you are. Let me go. How do I get on the road again? Oh my god, the turning radius. This is insane. Yeah, the turning radius is insane. Okay, we stuck. How the heck did I get off the road? Did Gillis put you up to 
this. Idiot. No. Actually, I don't know who that is. Where are you taking oh. me? Need to turn there. Oh my god. This turning radius? That's rough. Rough, rough. Course is so foggy you can't see anything. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Well, let's just beat him. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. How about free? Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Okay. Here. Here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I'm so close. It's just pulling a bullet between your eyes. Threaten me like that? Nobody threatens me. Telling ya, punk. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bring me back to the city. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. Take you to the trolley. Thank you. The trolley? What is a trolley? I uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. What's well, yes? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Head to the theater, perhaps. <laughs> and the white horse just coming. Sure. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a good one. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. Hey! Not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you.
thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you in of a the rush? The greatest author? show ever assembled. Prepare How about that? for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment Mace. is a gift that will see Mace. you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, yeah! Miss Robin Koninsky! joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint-Denis. tones right yes she is pure spectacle and i assure you she can charm any beast any beast at all from cockroach to killer whale <laughs> your mother most likely told you not to play with well, right. or to spend time in the company of strange women you are about to do both <laughs> miss antoinette sanserino Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, look. Hmm. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it. 
You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Kind of weird. Well, not weird. And, and and I think we talked about it in some other stream of this game. But Rockstar really takes this universe that is Red Dead Redemption and just makes it realistic. You know, going to the theater and watching a whole performance. You know, you have to make a melody, you have to make the text, and you have to hire a, a voice actor to actually sing the song um, and just this you know having a crowd it's amazing Wonder now I'm cheering her on, but if I enactize her, uh, if she would be, you know, getting uncomfortable or getting, I don't know, burn herself or set off herself on fire. How long is we gonna watch this? Okay. Now he's coming out, the, uh, the guy, and says, uh, Will people please leave the theater? Uh, it's on fire. Oh, enchanting! Mesmerizing! She yeah! is truly one to bring right. home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris!
Standing applause, but not for us. I wonder if there's another act. And how long we can keep doing this. And sitting here for like... I don't know, five minutes or so? Incredible! Aren't they lovely? Those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent! <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Hey. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <sighs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> It was done. My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I wanted man, Mary. If I. If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Okay. Anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. <gasps> I had some. But then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Okay, now the white horse is the only one. problem with you mister um got some question marks this one is that's a storyline you should, should take this one get along some point i hope i get back to the camp so i can get rid of the the white horse not ask for that to happen. Hey, Oak, don't leave me the hell alone. Hello, 
sir. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? <laughs> Told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Where do I meet them? Mm -hmm. Let's go to T. Hello. Hello, how are you today? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Do I need to get off my horse? Okay, I need to get off my horse. Can I tell you a little about 
about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, fair enough. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. It would be kind of cool to see the building done and uh, actually having a name on a building. Wait, girl. Are you? Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Already bought a suit from here. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest okay, I only have that alpha to choose from. For the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Do I get the cane? Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. To the barber? You know what? I'm not going to take my beard off. scope the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> no, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Oh no. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight.
Make him look like a prince, sir. Um, no, not stars. How about hair? Style. Bold. There, very smart. Come mm. on, let's get to the box. To the I've box. Some transportation for us. Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, <laughs> this is a bit much, ain't it? A coach? We can't win up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. <laughs> You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. Indeed. What money am I playing with? Don't worry, that has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Yep. So, yeah, there they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. <laughs> come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Keller. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Bly. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. 
Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. To hell with you. Now, nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Now I'm gonna call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. Shit! Shit! I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Two kinks, nice. Let's not waste any more time here. All <laughs> in. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Okay, you know it's all in. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's a thousand dollars. Very good, but not good.